Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 67 of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the DSer plugin. I know I said in the previous video we're going to talk about reverb, but I actually just remembered there's a, a few extra uh, plugins I want to get into before we get into uh, time based uh, plugins. But I wanted to go over the DSer uh, plugin so we can get sort of some of the sibilance in our, our vocal recording. Um, what a de-esser is, is, it's essentially sort of a fast-acting compressor, but only for, usually used for a, a specific frequency range, usually for the high frequency range, and specifically usually stuff above, you know, 3K, above 2K, because that's where the where most of your sibilance comes from. Uh, sibilance is essentially just high-end hiss produced from S's, uh, even F's and T's as well, um, and the de-esser is a great way to sort of reduce that uh, in especially female vocals. Now, the amount of sibilance you actually have in a recording is going to be determined by the, the singer themselves, um, or the singer themselves, I should say, uh, as well as the distance that they're recording, uh, or the distance they're standing from the mic. If they're really up on the mic real close, you're probably going to pick up more S's and uh, F's and even T's. Uh, as they stand further away, you're going to probably get less, uh, less S's. Um, and also the way you angle the mic, if you angle the mic sort of slightly away from their mouth, you're going to get less sibilance than if you aim it right at their mouth. Um, so what I'm going to do is on my vocal track, I'm just going to, on the lead vocals here, I'm just going to uh, solo that out. I've just looped sort of a part of uh, the first verse and the first part of the pre-chorus. And I moved the compressor down because I'm going to put the de after the EQ, but before the compressor. Um, you can actually put it before the EQ as well, but if you boost the, the EQ up in the high range at all, you're sort of undoing uh, somewhat, uh, you know, your, 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 your de-esser. So, so I'm going to click on this. It's under dynamics because technically the de-esser is a compressor. Um, there we go. Um, I'm going to start just with the preset that is the female voice de-esser. So let's talk about what we have here. It's a pretty simple plugin. Um, you have a, de a detector. You have a suppressor, just a visualizer, and then a smoothing option, and then some monitor options. Uh, the detector is uh, basically where the uh, where the de-esser is going to detect S's, where it's going to detect sibilance. Generally, I like to put this way up in the high range, like above 5K. Uh, you're not going to get much sibilance below 2K usually, at least not bad sounding sibilance. Um, the sensitivity is basically and be obviously how sensitive it is to sibilance. As you pull the, the sensitivity up, you're going to get more and more sounds coming through, and more and more sounds are going to end up being suppressed. As you pull it down, less and less are going to be suppressed. So I'm just going to put this sort of toward the middle here. Uh, the suppressor is actually where, uh, you know, what frequencies are being suppressed, and also uh, by how much are they being suppressed. You don't want to overdo it because you're going to sort of hear... You can sort of hear her vocals cut in and out every single time she says an S, a word with an S or an F or a T in it. So you want to be careful not to pull the strength uh, up too much. So I'll pull it about halfway. Again, I'm going to put the, the suppressor frequency somewhere within the range of 2 to 20K where I've got the detector at. Um, let's go in the upper the upper regions here, up in the 5, 6, 7,000 hertz range. Um and then the smoothing is essentially how fast uh, the de-esser is going to sort of come in and then and then come out. Um, you don't want it real short because it's going to sort of immediately uh, take the S away, which can make it sort of sound choppy. Um, you also don't want it too slow because then it's not going to react fast enough. So I usually find it works pretty good between about, um, you know, 7 and 20 milliseconds. So I'll put it like on, there we go, I'll put it on 10 milliseconds. Um, and then the monitor is actually showing um, what you, it's a, it's a way to hear just certain things. Like on off, we're actually hearing the signal after it's been uh, de-essed. Uh, so let me, let me play this before. So I'm just going to uh, bypass the plug in there. We don't have to look too far to see the face of destruction. You ruin life, you ruin life for me. Pray for death to take me quickly, living life in a lie. 
Um, it's actually not too bad, sibilance wise. I, I have a feeling that I probably already put a DS around this, like right after we recorded it or right after I edited it. Um, you'll also notice that um, there's a couple little pops in there. Um, we're gonna go back. We're gonna come back and fix those later with automation. So don't worry about that for now. But sibilance can be caused by S's, F's, even THs, uh, even T's. So um, what I'm gonna do is let's let's tr listen to this with my deesser setting on now. We don't have to look too far to see the face of destruction. You ruin life, you ruin life for me. Pray for death to take me quickly, living life in a lie. Let's listen to that one more time and uh, look where the activity um, uh, button here flashes. We don't have to look too far to see the face of destruction. You ruin. So it seems to me that it's not reacting fast enough, so I'll pull this down a bit. And maybe not reacting enough, so let's pull the sensitivity up. And let's pull the strength, let's keep it about the same. We don't have to look too far to see the face of destruction. You ruin- Now, you gotta be really careful about uh, how much uh, you turn the sensitivity up, as well as how much you pull the strength up. Because if you use too much, your S's are going to start to sound like a lisp. You know, your S sounds will start to sound like TH sounds instead. So you have to be careful how much you how much you use that. Um, I kind of like that setting the way it is. Uh, but let me show you what the monitor uh, options do. If you put it on DET, that's the detector, it's basically just going to play you the detection frequency up here. Uh, or the d detection band, I should say. So you can sort of sweep through that and sort of find where m the vast majority of the sibilance you want to get rid of is. We don't have to look too far to see the face of so you can actually sort of isolate uh, the upper bands to so sort of see where the vast majority of the sibilance is. Uh, if you go to suppressor, this is going to play just the suppression uh, band. We don't have to look too far to see the face of destruction. Again, I just go in and I, I put that where I'm hearing the most S's. And then the uh, sensitivity, uh, well actually it's actually the, um, um, yeah, it's the sensitivity. Basically what it's doing is it's showing you just, uh, it's actually play instead of uh, ducking out the sibilance, it's actually playing you uh, what what's being cut out. So it's just showing you where uh, the sibilance is being taken out. Obviously, you wouldn't want to use these bottom three monitors to actually in the mix. You want to put turn the monitor off. That's just a way to sort of monitor what's actually being cut um, in a way to sort of uh, detect where the sibilance actually is. So what I'm going to do is go into my mixer here, show my audio tracks again. I had them hidden before. Um, oh, there we go. And I'm just going to move the de -esser onto both my lead and uh, both of my lead vocal tracks. I'm just going to hold option to copy it over. There we go. I'm not going to use it in the backing vocals just because I've already got a lot of the high end scooped out anyway. And they're so far back in the mix, um, it's not really going to matter too much. All right, so that's the DSer in a nutshell. Uh, once again, if you want to purchase this session uh, for mix practice, it's available. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, the Payloads website where you can download it from. Uh, in the video description below. So once again, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.